right, everyone, let's take a seat and get started. <laughs> um, where is the creamer? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you come take a seat? Oh, there was creamer here. Toasted hazelnut almond milk creamer. So, shall we start with the serenity prayer? Actually, if you don't mind, I would love to start off this meeting just by saying how much the support group has come to mean to me. In the tougher times this week, I was able to think of all of you and how you're all going through the same thing I am, and I didn't feel so alone. That's really nice. I'm sure you're not the only one that feels that way. It was here. I brought it from home. Thank you. So, who would like to share first? I myself brought it in my car from home. I put it right here on the table. Why don't you come take a seat? Uh, I'll start. Terrific. I think there's some creamer right there. That's not toasted hazelnut. You have the talking stick. Okay, well, so I was watching videos on TikTok the other day, I think it was Tuesday, and then I find myself at this video of a woman at a clothing store, like in a mall or something. And so she's going around, she's picking up clothes, and then there's another woman, an employee, like a younger woman, who's following her around and refolding everything she's picked up. And the woman starts yelling at the employee, saying she's making her feel unwelcome in the store by refolding everything up. And so she starts picking up everything she can find, going, you like that? You like that? Eventually, the manager comes out from behind the counter and asks the woman to leave. And the woman starts throwing folded t-shirts at the manager. And I found myself thinking, what a Karen. You know, me calling her a Karen. Like, I'd internalized it or something. Like, like I'd become part of the problem. Found it! It was in the trash can? Somebody used it up. Somebody used up the toasted hazelnut almond milk creamer that I brought from home. I think that might have been me. There was just the smallest splash left. So I'm standing up here asking where it is, and it didn't occur to you to let me know that you'd used it up and thrown it out? It just didn't occur to me that I'd used the hazelnut one that you were talking about. Like I said, there was only a little bit left. I, I guess not enough to really taste it. What? Let's just try to let this go. This is a very flavorful product. You take a sip. You take a sip of that coffee right now and you tell me that you cannot taste the toasted hazelnut. Actually, now that you mention it, I can taste the hazelnut. I don't know why I didn't know this. Look, Karen. Please come have a seat. What? How dare you call me that? I thought this was supposed to be a safe space. Well, isn't that your name? No, that is not my name. You never even asked my name. I assumed your name was Karen. And why would you assume that? Because this is a support group for people named Karen. No, it is not. Yeah, it is. We're a group of women named Karen who come together to support one another through the shared pain of our actual name being used as an insult, indicating rudeness and privilege. Is your name Karen? Yes, it is. Is your name Karen? Yes. Is your name Karen? Yeah. No, damn it. This is a support group for people who get called Karen. I think you might be in the wrong place. No, you're in the wrong place. This flyer is very clear. Support group for Karens. Are you a Karen? You are not alone. See right there? See? In retrospect, I suppose I could have made that more clear, but the smaller print explains it all. <laughs> Why would I need to read the smaller print when the large print is so exactingly clear that this is a support group for people who get called Karen? Wait, wait, you think I just carry around my reading glasses all the time, always looking to read the smaller print? What are you, like, 26? Bet you don't even need reading glasses, do you? I'm finding this very triggering. Do you get called Karen a lot? It's none of your freaking business if I get called Karen. You know whose business it is? The people described on this flyer. Did you make this flyer? I already told you. Did you make this flyer? Yes. Well, then I am going to need to speak to your supervisor. Whoever's in charge around here, because this is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. There are consequences in this world, Karen. Please do not use our name as an insult. Actually, I'm the supervisor. My name's Karen Mulgrove, and I'm the director of this community center. But today, I'm just here as a participant. And you are, um, you're putting up with this in your building? 
this false advertising, you're aware of this, and the fact that you can't even bring in your own toasted hazelnut almond milk creamer from home because it's the only way you can drink your coffee without the threat of some Karen stealing it right out from under you. There was only a little bit left. Quit crying, Karen! Why would you bring an almost empty container of creamer? To put in my coffee, Karen. Please don't use our name as an insult. Oh, boo-hoo. My name is a cynic douche for rudeness. Poor me. A what? Cynic douche. What, should I get to high school yet? Synecdoche? It's pronounced synecdoche. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. Because we just pronounce any words any wrong way we want to up in here. Is that how this goes? Are you filming me? Yeah? Well, who's filming who now, huh? Actually, I don't think synecdoche is right anyway. That's not how it's pronounced. Cynic douche. Yeah, synecdoche is more when a part of something is referred to as the whole. Right, like when you say, I got a new set of wheels, and what you mean is I got a new car. Right, or get your butt out of here, using the butt to refer to the whole person. What did you just say to me? What? Get my butt out of here? Oh, that wasn't directed at you. Was that a threat? Are you, are you threatening me? I've got it on film. I'm threatening you. You are the reason why my seventh grade students laugh at me on the first day of class. You! I write on the board, Miss Karen, and before I can even get to my last name, McLaren, they laugh! Your name's Karen McLaren? Shut up! Karen means pure! In old Danish, it means pure. But because of people like you! Actually, I think it's because of people who would be inclined to use a common woman's name as an insult. I mean, there's just as many male Karens out there. Yeah, it's an anti-woman insult for sure. Shakespeare's name meant jerk off. <laughs> to shake your spear at someone was slang for jerking off. In Shakespeare's own time, <laughs> his name meant jerk off. Whereas <laughs> Karen just means pure. It means pure. Okay, this, you Karens, whatever this is, you have got problems. You'll hear from me. You'll all hear from me. What a fucking Shakespeare. <laughs>